Greetings, YouTube. Spider Glenn, not to be confused with Spider Gwen, submitted this video via OneDrive, which is a uh, unique way to send this. I think his Outlook is a little bit different than Dropbox and Gmail. You can see the, the black bars on the side give it almost a cinematic feel for this crystal opening commentary submission. But he just completed Act 6. Now, you know, normally those the rewards there would not be by themselves worthy of a commentary, at least not in this stage of the contest, but along with, with the gold weekend event with uh, Six Star Nexus, and then this is how he became Thronebreaker. I've seen this more and more, where players have a rank four, or excuse me, a rank four. I wish I had, I had it. I don't even have a rank four. A rank three, six star, before they complete Act Six. It used to be the opposite, right? Everybody completed Act Six before they did, say, a completion of the Abyss. But Tier Five Class Callus fragments are becoming a lot more um, common, or at least for cash, there's a lot more offers. And they used to be even for Cavalier players. And so this is kind of becoming a trend. And I, and I think it is Kabam's, in Kabam's best interest to get people close or to the mark. Boy, look at how ridiculous that offer looks now for 12,000 units. That is amongst the worst offers ever. <laughs> it, was, it was amongst the worst offers ever when it appeared the first time. But now, considering where the economy of the game is, it's a freaking joke. Uh, what's not a joke is these Cavalier Crystals that are free and a six-star Mr. Sinister. Look, I know Mr. Sinister is not the best six-star, but a six-star is a six-star from these. And he got a five-star, Awaken His Beast. I'm sure he would have preferred to uh, open a six-star Shang-Chi, who I believe is now in the six-star basic pool. But hey, great start. That is another example of why the new buffed drop rates for Cavalier Crystals are just so clutch. Wow. All right, now he's got a Nexus, maybe? All right, here's the five star. Now, normally I'd pause it, but this is a longer than normal video, so I'm already going to be longer than five minutes for sure. Uh, Taskmaster Professor X and Ant-Man, he's, he's not going to awaken. He's going to get a new champion Taskmaster. There's some arena points. I don't know anybody that uses him every day. Maybe you watching this do, and you get offended when I say that, but, I mean, hit me up. I would love to know why you use him every day other, over other champions. I mean, if he's one of your only champions, he's probably really, really good. And in general, I know people who believe in him, but there are just so few spots in attack now and so many champions. And if you've got 160 champions in the game, uh, you can't afford to use, but on, on, on an offense, 11, right? Five event quest three alliance quests and three alliance war and if you're me you don't do alliance war it's eight you've got three attacking champions for alliance quest and five for general questing that's it all right bunch of rank up resources i mean i love five star rank ups don't get me wrong but that is not the compelling part of this okay he has nine five stars Ooh. and hopefully oh is he skipping the five stars and going straight to this he's going for some featured all right, things just got serious. Good luck to Danger Darren, who's opening one of these two with the hope of getting Hercules or Stark Spidey. All right, here we go. God, this is such a gamble. There's Stark Spidey. There's Human Torch. And oh my God, no! He haunts another account! And he already has him. Well, he's awakened. But the tough part is, even if he got, like, this crazy red mags-like buff, and white mags is also, obviously, the conversation above. Let's just say Magneto. If he got a crazy Magneto buff, if, if it takes two different classes of class catalysts, especially Tier 5, to take him to rank 3 and beyond, I still don't think it's worth the rank of materials. You can do two different... Six star champions for those rank up materials. For one, it's just stupid. All right, last one. I mean, oh, oh. It was. I was gonna say it's a featured champion, and some of you love Spider Man twenty ninety nine. I like Gwynpool still, but not for fifteen thousand six star shards. Karnak and Gwynpool for thirty thousand six star shards. Let's hope there's some redemption in the Nexus crystals that I believe are at the end of this. And here we go. We do indeed have the 
Deadpool's gold trade offer and by becoming Thronebreaker, he gets the best deals. That is a first that we've seen. Somebody became Thronebreaker to get the best deals. And is he going to go back and purchase the others? You would think so. He's got 33 million. There's the six star regular non class based Nexus, and the other one should be the uh, selector. And it is indeed. Wow. Now that's a cool story. You you uh, completed Act Six so you can become Thronebreaker, so you can get the best gold deals. That's uh, that's pretty much exactly how Kabam drew it up. If I'm being honest, is he going for mutant? That is the popular choice, including myself. Heck yeah, Six Star Omega. Still can't get ever get sick of that guy. How's it gonna be? All right. What's he doing now? Okay, he's showing he has done none of Act 7. But he's also Thronebreaker. Huh. Well. Now on to the featured presentation of the six stars. Nice rank one to rank two rank up gems too. He could pop those nine five stars and at least open a basic, but apparently he wants to open another feature. I wouldn't, but um, I'm not him. All right. The first of two six star nexus for gold. I love this story. I mean, it it's exactly what Kabam would have wanted. He's starting with the class-based Nexus 2. Come on, good mutant. Apocalypse, Omega Red, Namor, Sunspot, Archangel. Oh, that is beautiful. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. What a Nexus, Spider Glenn. Wow. Archangel, good choice. Because you have the other two champions and they don't need to be awakened. That is, that's an all-time one. There was no Cyclops or Beast in that. Lucky. No Psylocke, no Gambit. Don't get me wrong, I like those champions. At least some of them. But um, they're usually in there. At least one of them. And then the basic... Uh, not as good. But can't expect it. I think you had a better vision for that crystal, quite literally. But I'd go with vision. I'd go to vision Arcus over OG Black Panther. Even with the buff. Yep. Okay, what else we got on this? Okay, so we've got... Maybe one more crystal. We're getting down to the final minute of it. Like I said, this is longer than usual, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, now he's going to show us his roster. Let's check it out. Domino, Captain America, Infinity War, both awakened. Falcon, Warlock, Unawakened, Doctor Doom, Corvus, Red Mags, Cole, Longshot, Source Supreme, Wasp, Hitmonkey, then a, bun a bunch of trash. Like a, That's seven six stars. At, oh, he's got seven six stars at rank three. Eventually, 20 minutes after becoming Thronebreaker. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, he got the message. Uh, almost 40 minutes later, after I take 5-star Dragon Man to rank 5, I finally see... Oh, so it was crazy delayed. That is definitely bizarre. Well, congratulations, sir. All's well that ends well, right? And you kept this under 10 minutes. I realize this is about double the length of a normal commentary, but this is a special occasion, and he was rewarded with an amazing uh, nexus. Keep in mind, I assume that if you've waited this long, that uh, Cyber Weekend and Black Friday will have the same. If you're Cavalier and you become Thronebreaker, you can get both offers. So you might, if I was you, you might as well wait now. But uh, hey, congratulations. Thanks for watching, and Spider Glenn, thanks for the crystal opening commentary submission. It was uh, different and fun to commentate.